Alright you guys, so this is my first pour after a two month break. Just to put you in context of the situation here, it's about 8.30 at night. I had done a huge cleanup of my art room, throwing plenty of stuff away, organizing everything, keeping just the things that I love, like deco art, golden, those bottles there, crystals and pigments and blah blah blah, leftovers in here. And I was feeling red, yellow, and black. And I tried this yellow here for the first time. And I just learned that it just got totally lost. <laughs> but I have to say, I am loving this painting. It looks like a, like a bloody, cloudy swirl of a pour. <laughs> really intense and as you can see there's like some action going on here this is a little sort of trick that I discovered by accident in June but I'm gonna keep that for another video I'm gonna explain that in more detail another day loving this it's so like simple in the sense that there's not a lot of colors yet dramatic so I used it for the white cloud effect mix. I have plenty left over and it's half of the satin enamel. So with half of the um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, a little bit of pouring medium and water. And then the yellow, I used a mix of that one here with this one here, which got totally lost. And I used the Amsterdam red on its own. And for the black, it was the black satin enamels. So yeah, hope you guys like this. I attempted to stay clean and use my bins. Let's see how long that is gonna last. Stay tuned for the dried result. Back with the dried result. And from far, the overall look is really, really good. I'm loving this bloody darkish flow here. But then when you go close, you go up and see all the little details. So the yellow did rise back up to the top and it appeared in all those mini lines there. I find it very, very cool. You can see it better in person. And to see the detail here from the corner, it's interesting how it looks kind of smudged as if I touched it, but I didn't. It didn't do that in my other paintings, so I still have a lot to learn from that little trick there with the black on a the corner. There's a lot of detail and it dried it perfectly. Very smooth and this is not varnished. Hope you guys like this. Have a good one.